Hello, I'm Dr. Benjamin Norris from the Chemistry Department at Frostburg State University. In this video, I'm going to discuss the acidity of phenol, which is more acidic than uh, most alcohols. And, you know, to illustrate that point, I'm going to provide you with the structures of phenol and cyclohexanol and their pKa values. So, com uh, pKa of phenol is 9.99 and the pKa of cyclohexanol is 16.0. The pKa of cyclohexanol is much more similar to uh, those, uh, the pKa's of other alcohols. So being cyclic isn't actually the, the mystery here. There's something about phenol that makes it a stronger acid. And if you studied the impacts of structure on acidity, then you have some idea, you might have, have some idea of what the cause of this is. Let's use water uh, as our base. We're just talking about the pKa at the moment. So we're talking about what happens during the ionization of phenol in water. And when phenol ionizes in water, it produces this phenoxide anion. Okay. And the phenoxide anion is different than what you experience with other alcohols. It has lone pairs on the oxygen, but these lone pairs can be delocalized by resonance. And that is what is different about phenol in comparison to other alcohols. And I'm going to go through and draw the resonance contributors for phenol, and this takes just a, a teensy bit of time. So, you know, hang out, just hang out here. I want to have my, my lone pairs and my negative charges on all of my resonance contributors. But basically, the lone pair and the corresponding negative charge can be delocalized into the aromatic ring. Let's cheat just a little bit with copy and paste. These can be delocalized into the aromatic ring. And we can continue to draw resonance contributors, resonance contributors uh, delo further delocalizing the charge around the ring. And it's this resonance delocalization that's important for understanding why phenol is much more acidic than other alcohols. Again, as I said, if you've studied uh, the impact of structure on acidity, you probably already know that resonance delocalization in the conjugate base is a great way to increase the stability of the conjugate base, which then, you know, as we are stabilizing that negative charge, that in increases the stability of the conjugate base, which then increases the likelihood that the equilibrium is going to shift towards the conjugate base. And in all cases, resonance is one of the most powerful uh, means of, of stabilizing a conjugate base. And often resonant, you'll find resonance stabilization being responsible for a 5 to 10 pKa unit decrease in acidity. Now there's a lot more that could be said about the pKa of phenol uh, and, and substituted phenols. Just like with, excuse me, just like with alcohols as you start substituting phenols with other things, the pKa will change, and electron donating groups will often increase the pKa, and electron withdrawing groups will often decrease the pKa of phenol. And there's a lot more that can be said about that, but um, that is a subject for another video at another time, uh, and is actually more related to what happens in, in aromatic substitution reactions than, than what we're talking about here. So, thank you for watching, and you know, if you want to go back and watch the video on alcohol pKa, so you understand why alcohols have pKa's around 16, feel free to do that.